Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be talking about the Louis Vuitton Speedy Nano. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So, as some of you may or may not know, I purchased the Louis Vuitton Speedy Nano during Christmas time. I didn't plan to buy it. Obviously, it's not available in all the stores. But I was buying a scarf and I happened to look over and I saw two. They had two in store. It was a store in San Antonio. I believe it was the Canteras. I know this is not the original Speedy that was released, but I definitely wanted to buy this because the availability like, I'm surprised it was even in this store. And I like that they changed it to now have a removable strap. When it first launched, like, the Speedy Nano has been around since 2015. But it has evolved as the times have gone. The Vichetta was not pre-treated. It, it had a strap, but the strap was not removable. And I believe that this one, I don't have the original Speedy, so I can't compare them. But videos that I've watched have said that these go further down and that it's smaller, more compact. I personally like this newer version of the Speedy Nano, and I'm kind of glad that not that I waited because it wasn't a matter of waiting. It was a matter of availability. And so when I saw it, I went ahead and bought it. I probably paid $600 or more than when it originally launched. I believe when it originally launched, it was eleven eighty, And I bought it for $17.60 in store. Now... I've seen a couple of these being sold for more than 2000 the older version. Now, some people want the older version. I personally don't want the older version. I don't. I like this one. I like that. I like the updates that they made to it. And so it doesn't fit a lot of stuff. Like my phone with the case won't fit in here along with other items. Okay. And here's the inside. And my bag is chipped and it does still have the tag here and mine is made in France and you can see that the bondolier the purse that I have it's 6.3 in length and the older one is six inches so it's a little bit longer the height is 3.9 and the older one is 4.5 and the width is three inches and the older one is 3.5. There's also a difference in the strap length or the drop of the strap. And so I like a longer strap, which is why I like that this one is removable. I do like that I can wear different straps with it. Now I'm going to show you the strap to that it came with, which is this one. A lot of people were talking about also the strap was different and that it was thinner and the hardware was different. I don't know because again, I don't have the other one, but what I don't like about this strap is that it's short. It's a short strap. And I have it on the longest that it'll go. So when I put it on, I don't, I like to wear it crossbody and I don't like where it hits me. And I'll show you that here in a second. So I have the strap to the Giant Monogram Speedy Bondolier. And it comes in threes so you get three normally I like to wear with my, my giant speedy bondolier just the two straps together so I like to wear it with just this strap now 
I'll show you here in a second what that looks like, but this is what I prefer when I carry this bag. And I don't like it at my hip because I feel like it's too big. It's too big of a bag and I bump into a lot of things. With this, I feel like I can wear it on my shoulder like that. And I feel like I have more control over it. Now I'll add the other strap to it. Strap there. <laughs> So what I do is I just add, oh, wait, that's not the right one. This other strap that is longer than this one, I think it's longer than this one. I add it to here and I put it on the last one. And then I take this one and I add it again to the last one. And that makes for a longer strap with all three. I like the versatility of the strap. But for me, I just feel like... Let me move you down a little bit. I just feel like it's too low. See, it's too low for me. Which is why I like the other strap. But my whole reason in bringing out this strap is that I like this strap for the Speedy Nano. And it may seem like it's too thick, but here is the strap that it came with and here's the strap to the Speedy Bondolier. So if I put them together it's only slightly bigger do you see it's only slightly bigger so i don't think it's a big deal if i put the strap on the smaller bag because it's only slightly bigger so i'm going to put it on the speedy nano and you I have worn it with just the two, not the three. So this is the first time that I'm putting it on with the three. Actually, no, I'm lying. I did wear it with the three. So there it is with the three. And again, same place. And then when I wear it, it hits me right where I want it to hit. Right there. With the other strap that it comes with, it's shorter. So let me show you that with the other strap, with the strap that it comes with. And for me, I like to have it lower. You may like to have it the way it's made, but I just don't like it that way. And I don't think it really matters in terms of the strap which one you wear because as I said it's not that thick so see there it is with this strap that it comes with and then here it is crossbody see how it's a little bit higher up I'm gonna try to do a side by side I don't know if I can but I'm gonna try so to me I feel like it's in a place where I'm just going to be hitting it with the other strap, it's, it's lower. So let me put the straps so you can see how much longer it is. So there they are. And it's not by much. It's not by much. It's about that much see it's by that much that it's longer but I like that extra length for me personally now I think that you could make this strap I've not tried to put it on the lowest one let me try to do that let me try to put make it the smallest 
to see if I would like it like as a shoulder bag. Never worn it as a shoulder bag, but I'm just curious how it would look. And so I think it's to each their own. I know a lot of people still want to try to get the older version of this bag, and that's fine. Let's see, still kind of long. But I think if you wanted to wear it shorter, you could. That's that with the strap. I feel like you can wear it with any strap. I have several straps that I like to interchange. I don't know that I would like a different strap with that bag. Like, I don't know. This is the from the Cousin. I wonder how it would look with this one. I wanted it as a shoulder bag because that one even as a, in the on the highest notch it's still yeah see that is cute that is so so cute so that's with the cousin strap I have a bunch of straps from like Amazon that I like to use I kind of think that people have gotten over the wanting to have authentic straps because they're so expensive. All of the straps from Louis Vuitton are expensive. Okay, let's see. Just going to try this one. Okay, and so there it is with this little brown one. If you just wanted to hold it like as a bag, just like or on the crook of your, I don't think it would go, but just like that. Very cute. So now I'm going to show you what I carry inside of it because if it's smaller, then it's probably not going to carry as much as the old version of it. I also have this little pearl one. <laughs> I have the smaller one. I wonder how it would fit. So, I mean, you can put stuff on it too, but I'm going to put this little, I think it's the same. Oh, it's a little bit shorter. Let's see how it would look just hanging down. I think it still might be too big. Maybe. I don't really like for the strap to hang below the purse. So... I don't like it like that. And it's two, sh one's shorter than the other, so you can't have like a double strap. But I don't know. I mean, I guess to each their own. Some people might like it like that. But anyway, I have mine stuffed right now. I just put little packaging in there that I get from packages that I get in the mail. And I'm going to show you what I put in here. I can't fit my phone in here. So that's kind of a bummer because sometimes I like to just throw my phone in here in my bag. And so I have this phone and this is a twelve, I believe. And if I really I guess wiggle it in there, it'll go, it'll fit in here. But as far as like putting it in and taking it out, it's just, see, I have a hard time. And my phone's just a little bit bigger than this with a case. And I don't, I just, no, I don't want to be doing that to this bag. So normally I carry my Rosaline wallet and then for going in my car, I put my key holder and then maybe my little pouch because my husband's 
key is in there. And then my AirPods. So I'll probably push everything to that side so I can have it here on this side. So all of that fits that I need. The only thing I can't put in here is my phone. So there it is. And still a lot of room on top. Like you could put your lipstick and I think I could probably add even my little coin purse in here. Let's see. And it still doesn't look real bulky. See, it doesn't look real bulky. It is getting weighty though. <laughs> so that's the only thing I don't like is that I can't put my phone in here. But I'm always on my phone. So it's not a real big deal. But I would like to be able to... sometimes put my phone in here but you could also do the four key I had the two key in there but you can do the four key oops I still have my airpods in here and maybe if you just wanted to do your card holder and I have this little pill box that I like to carry all the time too Oh, this one from coach and um, it fits in there Same. so yeah I mean there's a lot of ways that you can use the speedy nano that's the reason that I really wanted it and when I was having such a hard time finding it. I did go ahead and buy one from Michael Kords. Just for the heck of it. I'm going to see if this wash up who fits in here. Well, it does. And so I used it quite a bit. That's why I knew I would use this one. But the Michael Cords one, which is right here, it is bigger. You can tell it's considerably bigger. So this one fits a lot of stuff. I do have a video on my channel regarding this little bag. It is so cute too, but this one is even smaller. So, I mean, you can tell they're just, this one's just smaller. This one has the little feet. This is a nice alternative. I'll tell you that. I don't know if they still sell these, but this is an awesome alternative to this one. And a whole lot cheaper. I'll tell you that. A whole lot cheaper. So anyway, that is my little bag that I bought. And I really do like it. If you have the opportunity to purchase it, I definitely would because it's it's such a cute little bag um i don't know that i would wear it with my chain strap let me put it on here this is the chain strap from the pochette felici and let's see it looks pretty with the chain too i feel like it looks pretty with the chain and these chains are long enough where the crossbody perfect fits perfectly to me so i mean i like it that's the only thing i don't like is that my phone doesn't fit in it but as i mentioned i'm always on my phone anyway so it's not a big deal to me which is why i decided to just go ahead and purchase this when i saw it let me see here's my strap i feel like the strap would be too big and mine has black inside. I wouldn't, I don't think I would like it together. So yeah, that's my update on this little bag. I have used it quite a bit. I do like it a lot. Like when we're going out to a quick dinner or to run errands, I reach for this one because it holds exactly what I need. It's so versatile to me and it does hold a lot even though it doesn't hold a phone it does hold a lot of other things no regrets in buying this if i saw it again i would buy it again so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye